Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek and in today's video, I wanna show you how without any kind of remote or anything, have your computer automatically switch your cameras depending on where you're looking. As you can see right now, I got my main camera shining straight on me. As you guys are seeing, however, if I want to look over at my Twitch chat while I'm streaming like this, boom, you'll see I now have another camera over here that is pointing at me. If I go back to center, then you'll see we're back on the main camera. And if I look over to my right, you'll see we're now hitting this camera right here. And so my main camera is a nice DSLR. However, the two secondary cameras you saw to the left and right come up for a minute. Those are Logitech C920 webcams. And then last but not least, if I get up and walk around in my office, there is yet another <laughs> camera that shines and captures the entire room in case I get up and want to do something, whether I want to go lounge on the couch for a minute. No matter what I do, it automatically switches to whichever one I'm doing. Again, if I look to the left, it just automatically, you know, sometimes it takes a second, but most of the time it's pretty instantaneous. Look to the right again, boom. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool, eh? All right, so let's go ahead and roll the intro and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm doing this. All right, guys, so before I actually dive into how to do this, let me just tell you about the setup a little bit so that you kind of understand what you may or may not need. So in order to run this, you're obviously going to need multiple cameras. And so what I am using is, you know, over the last couple years of streaming, I've picked up cameras here and there, like webcams and stuff. So I'm using an array of webcams to do this. You can use all professional, you know, DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras. You can use webcams. You can use an Xbox Connect, which I'm gonna go over, but you can do all of that different stuff or what you have lying around basically is what will work for you. So the main camera that I have right now that you guys are seeing me on, that's my Canon M200. It's like a five, $600 mirrorless camera. It lets you swap out the lens, you know, gives you kind of that blurry background if you want it and stuff like that. Then I had two Logitech C920s uh, over there in a the desk drawer from when I used to use those before I got more professional cameras and stuff. And so I just pulled those back out and hooked those up to the computer. And then the whole room shot, that is actually an Xbox Connect that I have the hardware to hook it to my PC and I can use it basically as kind of a webcam type device. The nice thing about the Xbox Connect is it has a super wide angle lens. So it works great for something like that and they're not very expensive at all. So now let's actually get into how this works. So you have four different cameras. You don't need four, you could do three. You could just do the center, the left, and the right, which they're not changing anymore, obviously, because I have it turned off so that I can you know, show you guys what's happening. Also, real quick, just to give quick credit, I did not find this software. Um, Epos Vox, I think that's how you say his name. He actually did a YouTube video on this as well, but it was a little confusing for me to follow some of these setup parts. So I wanted to do it as well and just kind of walk you through some of the issues I had with setup and how to fix those. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and jump to the desktop and then we will take a look at uh, the software that allows you to do this. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and you can see I'm using a program called Your Director AI. I'll stick a link down in the description that takes you to their website. You have to sign up for like an account on their website and purchase the product for free, which tells me that most likely eventually they're gonna start charging some kind of a monthly fee or yearly fee or one-time fee, but it tells me they're probably at some point going to start charging for it. But as of right now, it is free to use. So what you do is in this program, the way this program works is you set up a tracking camera inside this program. So you can see here, you can use NDI if you have like NDI cameras or anything, or if you wanna send like an NDI source from OBS to here or whatever, you can do it either way. Or if you're like myself where I have a cam link Pro, that's the one that has, that's a PCI and it has like four inputs. You can actually stream, use it in multiple programs. So I can use it in this program as well as OBS so that it's separate and you know, I don't have to do any kind of an NDI thing or anything. But basically you need a way to capture your main camera most likely, um, either through NDI or capture card, your face. So what this program is doing is it's using artificial intelligence and all of the new artificial intelligence tech that's coming out to track your face. As you can see, if you're looking at the desktop, you can see around my mouth, my nose, my eyes, my eyebrows is basically, you know, a little like AI thing that's tracking me. It's showing me like that's, that's your face. I'm tracking it. And so what it does is when I look to the left or to the right, it notices if I'm, you know, from the side profile 
or if it doesn't see my face at all, it switches, depending on which one of those happen, it switches between OBS scenes. So you connect this program to OBS using OBS WebSockets. You do currently have to use version four of their WebSockets. The newest one comes with version five, so you might need to download the WebSockets 4 plugin, which is not a big deal, but it uses that. When you connect to it, boom, we connect. Now, if you see, if I look to the left, it's gonna go to scene camera only, and I forget what it's called, let's take a look. Camera only two. And then depending on whether you're looking at the center or you're looking to the left, you can see the left light now lights up. Or if you're looking to the right, and again, the right light lights up. Or if it doesn't see your face at all, it goes to the uh, out of tracking, it says out off, <laughs> out of tracking uh, one, which will go to a different scene. And then you can set a scene for each of these. So what I do is, let me go ahead and turn it on for a minute. When I'm looking straight ahead, the center tracking one, boom. So then when I look to the left, I got a camera here that comes on. I look to the right again, there's a camera here. And if my, if it doesn't see a face out of tracking, so like this, it takes a second though to pop up, but uh, just cause the other camera takes a minute though, there you go. Uh, then it switches to the fourth camera, which is a room camera, as you can see. As soon as it sees my face, it's back to the center. Again, left, very, very cool, right? Back on the desktop. So I use this mainly in my just chatting phase of my streams. The camera is full screen in OBS and depending on if I'm looking straight ahead to the left, right, or if I'm walking around the room or whatever, that's where the program chooses which camera basically to choose, but I'm not setting up cameras inside of this program besides the actual tracking camera, which is just the camera that's doing the tracking of my face, whichever camera it is that you wanna use. So all of these are just scenes. So you actually have to set up all the separate cameras and stuff in OBS in separate scenes. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work with like sources or anything like that. It has to be separate scenes and you can only choose like one combo uh, or you'd have to go in here and switch them all, which means if I have gameplay on the screen and I got my little camera kind of like how it is now, I can't just switch that camera in the bottom right without changing full scenes again. But if I you know, want to have my just chat and change, you kind of see the dilemma. Anyways, there is a way to block and unblock with a hotkey. You can set the hotkey to whatever you want. You can see the red lights on, which means it is not like it's blocking. It's not switching the OBS scenes. So you can you can set that, you know, like if you go into a game, but when you're doing the just chat and you want it to switch cameras and stuff in the game, the front one's probably fine or whatever. So you can do that, which is nice. And then, like I said, the tracking camera you just set up here, it can be your main camera as well. If you have a capture card that doesn't allow you to use it in both applications at the same time, OBS and the Your Director AI, what you can do is you can use it in Your Director AI and then just use uh, Your Director AI virtual cam to go ahead and then capture the virtual cam inside OBS, which will be uh, the same camera, but obviously it won't have the track in blue lines over your face and stuff. So that works really well. I've done it both ways. With the CamLink Pro, I can use it in this program as well as in OBS, so no worries for me. And then the other thing that you, that you need to know is it connects with OBS WebSockets. So the newest versions of OBS uses OBS WebSocket 5. You need OBS WebSocket 4 currently. So you'll have to download the plugin for 4, which is the older version, to use this program. Hopefully they'll upgrade it to 5 eventually. I'll leave a link also where you can get this software down in the uh, description. However, a couple things to note, it is free software. However, you have to buy it for free and like make a license and account and stuff. My guess is they're probably gonna start as it gets popular, they'll probably charge a monthly fee or a yearly fee or hopefully maybe a one-time fee, although most software companies don't do one-time fees anymore. So, you know, it's free, but it could become paid. So just be aware of that. And then the last thing I'll mention is you can also fine tune the CPU GPU usage. If you want to use more or less, the more it uses, the quicker it works and the more accurate it is. And then also you can set your camera's position. Maybe it's off a little bit one way or the other. You can adjust where the camera is relative to you with this dial here. And then it kind of just tells you what it's using in terms of GPU, CPU, things like that. Again, very cool software, pretty easy to set up once you understand that you're only setting up the tracking camera in this program and then everything else is getting set in OBS and you're just selecting the scenes down here that you want to happen depending on how it's tracking your face, whether to the left, whether to the right or whether it doesn't see your face or if it's center. Also, shout out to Epos Vox. I did not find this software. He did a video on it. You should definitely give him a follow on YouTube because uh, he's an awesome 
streaming tutorial creator or just you know streamer in general that shows other streamers how to do some really cool stuff like myself or like maybe like alpha gaming if you're familiar with that channel on youtube uh, so very similar to those styles definitely recommend checking them out all right thank you guys so much for watching this video hope it helped you out if you guys liked it don't forget to hit the gosh darn like button i appreciate it very much subscribe as well I, I do tech videos i do streaming like streaming videos streaming tech videos stuff like that so hit the subscribe button love your faces thank you guys for the love and support see you on the next one until then peace out everybody later nerds